promise I am going to try to make this my last handbag for this season. girl Kelly one half of Kelly and Toya and today I'm gonna do a quick unboxing video um because we haven't uploaded in a while babe it's in there sleep and my bag that I have been wanting for some time now finally came I ordered it um like seven days ago I just happened to be watching TV with Babe and I got a notification that it was available. I hope y'all can hear me because I hate to have to re record this. Anyway, I'm getting a call. Um, like I was saying, so I have been wanting this bag for a while and I decided since y'all know how much I love bags and I promise I am going to try to make this my last handbag for the season. And I got another delivery that I'm gonna share with y'all. It's not for me, it's a gift that I got for a friend of mine um, that I thought was really cute. So I'm going to share that with y'all. Also, so before we get into this boxing, quick update. Babe and I finally found a business location. We signed our contract about two weeks ago. We made our, um, we had to get some paperwork notarized. Um, and then our final payment was, I believe, a few days ago. And it's officially ours. So tomorrow we'll go in and do some cleaning. And that's why. Um, you guys can't see it, but I got a lot going on. Um, stuff that I am dividing. Um, everything DIG will be over at the office. I'm not sure about BLL yet. Um, but everything DIG, definitely. That office is its new home. That's where we're going to run that business out of. Um, so stay tuned for that. I am going to try to bring you guys along with us tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's our only day we have um, to get a lot of things done. So, if I don't remember to pick up the camera, y'all guys, or um, find the time to pick up the camera, don't be mad. But I'll definitely drop some pictures um, for you all to see. What else? Mm, I think that's it. So. Let's get into this unboxing. I'm so excited, y'all. I have not seen it. Um, take this off. Cause I don't need nobody coming to knock at my door. <sighs> you don't need that pretty, okay? So I'm opening, using the letter open. I swear Nordstrom sometimes has like the worst unboxing ever. Um, look at this gap in between here, guys. Look at the gap. Like, uh -huh. yeah, the bag's not really protected um, as I would have liked it to be. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna get this video out today too while I'm here in the office. So, ooh. That is it. I'm over there. Cause it's a mess in here. Anyway. It's just my paperwork, receipt, etc. The size is nice. I'm excited. Um, so anyway, guys, this is a Kurt Geiger bag. It is the Tweed Kingsington Large. Um, Oxford bag. I have been wanting this bag for quite some time now. Um, this one another and another one. The other one have not come. Uh, it has not been available for a while. 
And I'm also on the hunt for Telfar bag, but that is a whole other story because I don't want to get stressed talking about it. That technically will be the last bag. I missed the bag security program, I'm just pissed. Anyway, let's get into this bag, y'all. Who's box that? I'm trying to some kind of organized mess situation going on here. Ooh. She pretty, y'all. She pretty. So anyway, this is my bag. Okay. So guys, let's try to keep this under 10 minutes. This is the detailing of this bag. So this is what I mainly love about this handbag. Um, oh yes. And the strap, of course. Um, come on, honey. It is roomy. It comes with a Kurt. I hope I said Kurt Geiger. I feel like I said. I feel like I said Kais. Kurt Geiger bag. Little protection bag. Mm-hmm. And if I can get these stuff out of here, they got this baby pack on. I guess I'll put it this way, okay. And it is a magnetic close, I believe, yeah. So, you can get it in there. Get your clothes automatically without having to push down, which is a good thing. Um, do I have some scissors in here? No, because I want y'all to see the detail on the bag. I have been looking for, I think like two other bags with like nickel or silver or like an antique polish, because most of my handbags have like the gold hardware, which I love, but sometimes I want something to match my jewelry that I wear on a daily basis, which is white gold. Silver would be the closest thing to that. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of excited. This is a little, it's some more, I hope you guys can hear me. This is more like an antique silver, but it's definitely still within the job. I'm loving this. Well, anyway, guys, tell me what you all have been up to. The girl started her um, lifestyle change. Now, I'm going to call it a diet because I swear that's what I go wrong. But I am determined to lose like 20 pounds, um, get back to my, my ideal weight where I'm most comfortable. Um, because I have gained weight through this whole COVID thing, baby and I, and I am like, I'm not gonna starve myself. We'll still probably get a cheat day, but we're not gonna like overindulge like we've been doing. Like, we crazy. So, I'm definitely gonna need some accountability partners. Guys, so comment down below. Tell me if you're doing anything like it. If you want to join me, I think here we go, guys. It's she pretty. Ooh, ooh. Let me see, honey, honey, get into it, honey. Get into my bag, baby. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Look at that detail. So anyway, let me tell y'all a funny story about this bag because I gotta give y'all the tea. I was like, babe, I found a bag that I wanted. You gonna buy it for me? She was like, no. I was like, what? <laughs> she was like, no. <laughs> so I sat there and I ordered my own bag. So babe felt bad or something. Or I don't know she was just tricking me or whatever. But the other day I came home and she had a nice little surprise for me. It was a bottle of perfume. Oh, let me go get a side to show y'all. Stand back. I'm back. So it was this bottle of perfume. This was the other one that I told y'all about. I couldn't decide whether I wanted the Yves Saint Laurent Mole Paris, I believe it is, or the Black Opium. She surprised me with the Black Opium from Chocolates, Flowers, and a gift and a card and a bottle of wine. And inside of the card, it was the money for the bag which I thought was really sweet. So this is my bag from my wife. So technically she gave all my bags. I love it, y'all. Let me show y'all this side. 
So we can close this out. So this is the inside. It has a little Kirk Geiger there. One pocket there, one pocket there. So I think I could probably even get my iPad in here, my cell phone, maybe a planner if I'm not pushing it in a wallet or either or. But I am, this is the large, like I say, I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, the quality of the bag, the lightness of the bag, very important for me. Um, and also the size and fluctuality. Yeah, guys. Stay tuned, guys. Um, we do have some more footage in store. We have two weddings this year. I am so excited, both LGBT um, weddings and we have a birthday party. We have some stuff planned. And like I said, we'll try to take you all with us tomorrow when we go to the office to clean it up and all that jazz. I don't know what um, decor I want to go with. I don't know if I want to go like over the top or kind of keep it in the middle where it suits baby and I. I'm just undecided. Um, so comment down below if you guys have any ideas. Tell me what you think about the handbag. Tell me what you think we should do with the office. I am very, um, or we are very big into like feng shui, any colors that brings on happiness, joy, prosperity, warmth, all those good things. You know, comment, I know a few of them, but comment down below, comment, let me know. Maybe you guys know a few that I don't know. Um, and I would love for you all to share that with us and come along with us for this ride. And also, maybe you guys can, you know, have a little part in the decorating portion of the business. Moon, I'm excited. I'm, I am a little nervous, but this is what we always wanted. These are the goals that we set for ourselves and it's coming into fruition. And it's just a feeling that is hard to put into words. We're just so very thankful for the grace of God, for favor, um, guidance, and just, you know, being that example that hard work and believing in yourself does pay off, guys. So uh, work hard. Don't let go of your dreams, follow your dreams, believe in yourself, network, surround yourself with like-minded individuals, um, and just stay on top of your game. I don't want to ramble too much. I don't want to get emotional um, because, like I said, this is huge, um, and we're just blessed. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We love y'all. Keep rocking with us, y'all. Y'all know the vibes. We gonna keep it 100 with y'all. We gonna take y'all all the way with us on this journey. And remember to always live life holy. Peace. Hey y'all, so we ain't, gonna, we ain't gonna let nobody know that um, I told you Lord, um, or ended the video, without showing y'all what I got from my friend. So, stand back real quick. Um, I'm boxing up, asking, I'm packing something. It's like a minute long and I'm just gonna drop it somewhere in here. So anyway, this is the sweater that I got for her for her birthday. I hope she's not watching this. I hope she don't see this before I give it to her, but knowing her, Oh my God, I hate to un the hoodie. It's kind of like packed in the hoodie, guys. So I'm gonna just have to show y'all the picture because I don't want to ruin it. Um, but it says stubborn giant snouter trick. Sit down, shake, and come. She recently purchased or uh, so what's the technical term? For she recently adopted a giant schnauzer. She picked her up at around the age of I want to say eight weeks old. I could be wrong to quote me, but I know she had all her shots. So anyway, this is a stubborn giant schnauzer trick, and it has sit down. What is it? Shake and come. 
And basically, um, it's just space. They don't listen. <laughs> or the giant snouters. Because Journey, as a mini snouter, does absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying that because she's our dog. But I promise Journey came here already trained. Honey, the ancestors must have known that she, sis probably would have ended up on Facebook Marketplace, okay? So, um, that's why that baby came in. This is how we came, guys. I thought this was really cute. I am not about to mess that up because, um, I'm almost certain that I won't be able to re-tie it that way. I'm going to throw this in a gift bag for her. Look at that. I just thought that was really cute. I don't want to open it all the way up. I know that I have a picture of um, the sweatshirt. So I do like a picture in picture so you guys can see it fully open. But I do not want to ruin uh, the way they have this pack. Really cute. I just thought it was cute how it's kind of like tucked in the hoodie of the sweatshirt. Uh, she uh, moved here to Atlanta about um, three months ago. Actually in January. Late January. So just a little shy of three months. And um, with the way Atlanta weather has been going, she'll get some wear out of her hoodie. Um, yeah, because the weather has been hot, cold, rain, dry, hot, cold, rain, dry, hot, cold, rain, dry. I don't know. So anyway, guys, I hope y'all think this is cute. I think it's really cute. I hope she like it. Tomorrow's a big day. It's kind of like moving day, um, if you will. So... Yeah. Love y'all. Peace.